This is Cheryl Colin from the Center for Teaching, Learning, and Engagement here at GCC, and I am speaking with Shelley Rodrigo, who is a core faculty member in the Department of English at the University of Arizona. She researches how newer technologies better facilitate teaching and learning, and last year, she became an Adobe Education Leader. Shelley will be visiting GCC this Friday to deliver a workshop called Adobe Appetizers. Shelley, do I need to know how to use Adobe Creative Cloud applications to come to the Adobe Appetizers workshop? No, the intended audience is not people who teach Adobe apps. The intended audience for this is people who teach all the other classes, chock full of content that they're supposed to cover, but they realize they would like to have their students work on their digital or creative literacies. The idea is to break Adobe into small pieces for both faculty and students so that they can do this in a class that the point is not to teach Adobe. If someone is interested in attending, but they're not sure, why should they go? Because they will walk away with a few very small Adobe activities that are designed to be easily adaptable for what I like to call multimedia to learn assignments. We talk about having writing to learn assignments and they're usually smaller, low stakes. And the idea is just that the student in spending time on writing is going to better understand the material. Asking a student to find and edit an image that has something to do with the content in the class in terms of the time on task as a way to help them spend more time thinking about the thing, that's what it's doing. And so the idea here is to show and share a bunch of small activities that that faculty can ask students to do. Not only will we play with some of the Adobe apps, really emphasis on play, But more importantly, we'll talk about ideas of how you might incorporate in your class and ways how it does subtly change how you have to think about your teaching. You do have to think a little more carefully about not only scaffolding the content that students might use, but scaffolding the way they have to learn the technology to know it well enough to do whatever it is you want them to do. When you ask for a paper, you don't tell students that they have to print it and they have to staple it. But when you're talking about digital applications, all of a sudden there's a submissions section in your assignment prompt. And then we can also talk about what are some ways to articulate creative literacy learning outcomes and digital literacy learning outcomes uh, and have come up with can-do statement phrases. Uh, and I'll, I'll bring those and share those too. So they're things that can faculty can incorporate into rubrics that they design for these. And, and so we'll talk about some of that too. How have your students reacted to Adobe Assignments? Students actually love learning this stuff because it it makes them feel empowered. Even a basic thing of like crop, clean up, resize an image, basic things like that that folks don't know, students really appreciate that. Students appreciate learning it and then I think students have fun with it. If you have students who are burnt out on writing but all of a sudden are going to make a video and if they spend three more hours making that video than they would have producing a paper for this class, that means they spent three more hours thinking about your content. Join us this Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. to cook up some creative Adobe appetizers of your own. Registration details are at www.gccaz.edu forward slash C-T-L-E.